It looks like we're getting a lot of Kevin Smith films on 4K very soon. John Wayne and John Ford's classic western The Searchers has been announced for 4K from Warner Archive. Screen Factory announces that its January slate including Vampires and Last Voyage of the Demeter on 4K. 88 Films has also announced its new January slate. We got new Screen Factory Steelbooks announced as Walmart exclusives. And The Hills are alive with the sound of UHD as it looks like the sound of music will be coming to 4K in 2025. All this and more in the latest physical media report. Stay tuned. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Mid-Level Media Channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. I am Ken Tadegaz. We are here for the Physical Media Report, episode 238. That is right, guys, your weekly dose of physical media goodness where we talk about everything new and exciting in the world of 4K and Blu-ray. And look, I thought this was going to be kind of a light show, but when I really got to digging, there's some good stuff coming, and there's actually a lot to talk about today. So we've got another batch of rounds of awesome announcements to discuss. But before we get into it, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. That would be nice, guys. Look, we are on the road to 30,000. I'm currently just above 29, and I would love to get to 30,000 before the end of the year. So I would appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. We talk about physical media on this channel pretty much every day, guys. Blu-rays, 4Ks, owning the movies that you love, all the stuff there behind me every single day if you like that kind of stuff that kind of content collecting all that hit the subscribe button also hit the like button and then let me know guys in the comments section below of everything that we cover here today what are you the most excited about what are you the most amped up for and what gets those juices flowing the most let me know in that comment section below and okay guys let's get into the rumor section of the show so the digital bits actually floated all these titles out in one of their articles last week. I talked about them on a live stream, but I wanted to discuss them again here just in case you weren't watching the live stream. More people watch the show than they watch my live stream. So I wanted to talk about these titles again. Now, these are all rumor, but again, very heavily indicated by the digital bits. And Bill Hunt over there is usually pretty reliable when it comes to this kind of stuff. So I would say that these are probably a done deal and they will be coming to 4K sometime in 2025. But there's definitely some exciting stuff coming, guys. So, yeah, let me put up this first image. Um, so he's teasing all this stuff for, for 2025. So Clerks, Chasing Amy, and Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back um, are the uh, Kevin Smith films that he's putting out there. Now, I'm not sure because he said th these are Miramax titles. I know they're Miramax titles, but I'm not sure if Lionsgate's going to be doing these. I thought I heard in the past that Lionsgate had pit up, picked up the Kevin Smith catalog, everything but Mallrats because Universal owns that. Um, but I know they're Miramax, so they're either going to come out from Paramount, who has a lot of Miramax stuff as well, or they're going to come out from Lionsgate. Um, I, I hope, well, either way, I think it could be, you know, good because Paramount does steelbooks as well. But, you know, a nice Lionsgate steelbook for Clerks, Chasing Amy, Jane Silent, Bob, Jane Silent Bob Strikes Back, like that could be pretty cool. So I honestly, it doesn't matter to me either way, but I do think that Lionsgate I don't know. Paramount's kind of up their their game with the 4Ks. I was going to say, I think Lionsgate does a little bit better job of doing the 4K restorations than Paramount does. But I think at, at this point in time, like Paramount's doing some really good stuff. Lionsgate's doing some really good stuff. So it really doesn't matter, I guess, at the end of the day to me, whether it's Paramount or it's Lionsgate. But Clerks, Chasing Amy, Jane Silent Bob Strike Back. I love, I love the first five Kevin Smith movies. Like I watched them so many times as a kid. Uh, they're they're truly like some of my favorite comedies of all time. So I would definitely be down to get them um, in 4K. And I think Clerks, you know, if you do a nice HDR, um, you know, Dolby Vision uh, upgrade to that one, it could look beautiful because it is in black and white. And I love the way that black and white looks in 4K with that HDR. So definitely excited for that. Chasing Amy, Jane Silent Bob, Jane Silent Bob Strike Back is like. Uh, almost like a road trip movie and there's lots of, of scenery and landscapes. And I think that movie could look really freaking stunning um, in 4k. So excited for that as well, as well as I am chasing Amy. That's a, you know, that's definitely an important movie to me also, but that's the Kevin Smith stuff guys. We also got the right stuff and little shop of horrors being teased to come out from Warner brothers in 2025. People have been asking for the right stuff for a long time. They were hoping it was going to come out in 2023 for the 40th anniversary but it did not. But apparently it's coming out in, in 2025 from Warner Brothers. So get excited for that. And Little Shop of Horrors is one that's been teased for, for quite some time. But that's that's also one that's supposedly coming out from Warner Brothers in 2025. And next up, guys, we got another five to talk about. Cold Mountain and the English Patient. 
Um, I think that these are set to come from Paramounts at some time in 2025. I could be wrong. I'm, I'm doing all this for memory. Uh, yes, it is Paramount. I, I did have this stuff wrote down. So yeah, Cold Mountain and The English Patient. I, I don't have too much to say about those movies. I've never seen them. But sure, I guess that's exciting if you want Cold Mountain and The English Patient on 4K. Um, and the big three, though, I think for a lot of people um, out there, because I get comments on these all the time, and these are all coming from Fox and Disney. So that's, look, guys, look, we we bash Disney around here a lot. It looks like, you know, from the recent Shyamalan films, the Cameron films, some other stuff that's been rumored to come out. It looks like they're starting to, to get into their catalog a little bit more, whether that's Sony influence, whether it's director influence of the film. I don't know, but it's, it is Disney ultimately at the end of the day that's doing it. So I got to give them some credit. Like if they really start moving some stuff, my big thing with Disney is I don't want them to just, because it will take them forever to get through all the stuff they need to put out at this point. They have to start licensing stuff. They really have to start licensing stuff. We cannot wait, you know, 10 years for them to upgrade all the titles that we want them to upgrade. They have to look to Kino Lorber. They got to put some more stuff out from Criterion Collection. Um, Arrow Video would be awesome for some of their titles, like from Hollywood Pictures and, and Fox especially. But also, you know, Disney's got some stuff from back in the day that could be cool to come out from some of these labels. So they got to start licensing stuff. They cannot, they cannot just do that. We can't just do five, six, you know, of your catalog titles from Fox and Hollywood pictures and touchstone pictures, you know, cause that would take forever. You got to start licensing stuff. But anyway, uh, kingdom of heaven, which is a Ridley Scott film came out in 2005. I actually remember seeing that in the theaters and I don't, I don't know. I don't remember too much about it at all. I think I liked it, but I never watched it again. Uh, but I would definitely be down to revisit that one. And it's a, you know, older film. I think it's set during the Crusades. I think that's what it's about. Um, but it's a, a stunning visual quality, I'm sure. And I think it's going to look great in 4K. Master and Commander, uh, The Far Side of the World. This is a movie with Russell Crowe. I think I've seen this as well, but it was it was probably back when it came out. But this is an at sea ship war movie. I'm sure that will look amazing in 4K. Um, and then uh, lastly, guys, The Sound of Music you know, which is a Fox title. And that's a, a definitely a classic film with Julie Andrews that people have been wanting to come to 4K for quite some time. Um, another one, of course, with Julie Andrews is Mary Poppins. When are we going to get the classic Mary Poppins in 4K? So those are the kind of titles I think would be like a good fit for Criterion if they would license those out. But I don't know if they would because Disney would probably want to put it out under their banner. But like Mary Poppins, Bed Knives and Broomsticks, like these are the movies I would love to see. Um, come to 4K for sure. But, you know, Sound of Music, definitely a classic that deserves that 4K treatment. But again, guys, these are only like rumors at this point. Like they're not official. You don't have artwork, cover artwork, um, release dates, all that stuff. But these are rumors coming from Bill Hunt at the Digital Bits. And I find him to be pretty reliable in most cases. So I would bet that those are probably going to be coming out um, in 2025. And next up, guys, this is actually pretty exciting. We got uh, John Wayne, The Searchers. This is a John Ford film, definitely one of his more famous Westerns. This is coming out on 4K, but the interesting thing is this is coming out from Warner Brothers, but it's coming out under the Warner Archive um, collection label, which is their sub label that they put a lot of classic films out um, under. So pretty interesting because they have never put out a 4K under the Warner Archive collection. Now, the cool thing about this, and I've heard from, from multiple sources that the people that work for Warner Archive, like they put a lot of work into their scans and the stuff they do, their restorations for the Blu-rays that they do. And the Warner Archive Blu-rays that I have really do look amazing. Like you can tell, like they put a lot of work into those Blu-rays, like more so than some of the other regular Blu-rays at Warner Brothers and Paramount, some of the other labels put out or studios put out. Um, so the Warner Archive Blu-rays already look great. So I am just chomping at the bit to see what a Warner Archive 4K looks like. And what I can tell you, like going off the information here, this is coming out from Warner Brothers, Warner Archive on December the 17th. So it's pretty soon, guys. Um, this is the first Warner Archive 4K. There's going to be HDR. There's going to be Dolby Vision. And it's going to be on a 100 gigabyte disc. So a lot of the uh, Warner Brothers 4Ks, like they don't get that 100 gigabyte disc treatment. A lot of them go on the 66 gigabyte, which was a big complaint with Once Upon a Time in the West that came out from Paramount. It's on a 66 gigabyte disc. It's almost three hour movie. It didn't look good. You can notice the compression and overall, like it could have looked better if it was on a 100 gigabyte disc. This is a, a, another classic Western that is on that 100 gigabyte disc. So it's going to have room to breathe. And I think it's just going to look amazing. So I am definitely excited um, to see the searchers on 4K from Warner Archive. And it'll be cool to see, 
you know, that label get more 4Ks in the future and just how good that those are going to look. Because again, I've heard the people that work over there just put some extra care into their um, transfer. So let me know if you're excited for uh, the searchers. I, I looked at the special features list. I didn't notice where there was anything um, new coming to this. Maybe as a new audio commentary, but they didn't note that it was new um, on the actual press release. So there could be some new stuff, but I didn't see where they said it was new um, on the press release. But let's get into the next one. We got the substance um, coming to 4K and Blu-ray from Mubi. And I talked about this one last week. And um, this is coming out January 21st. So we got an official release date, 4K Blu-ray of The Substance. Again, I just watched this movie with my wife like a week and a half ago. It's it's wild. Like, it's great, but it's really wild and out there. Um, I may hold on. I feel like there's going to be a, a better release for this one. Not to say the movie one's going to be bad, but I feel like I can see a second sight on the horizon for a film like The Substance. I feel like it's kind of captured the film community. And I feel like they're going to do that one on 4K at some point. Plus, they did the uh, director's other film, Revenge, from Second Sight. So I could see it getting a Second Sight release. I'll hold off on the movie. But if you can't wait, you know, get it from movie. Comes out on 4K January the 21st. We also got another Willy Wonka uh, 4K Steelbook. This is coming out from Warner Brothers on November the 29th. Now, I cannot remember... Like, I feel like this is the same steelbook that they put out when they did the 4K of it back in the day. I think that 4K came out back in 2020 or 2021, but I this might be the same steelbook, but I, I don't know. It's got the candy bar like interior on it. Uh, somebody let me know in the comment section if it's the same steelbook, but they are putting this one back out and it's going to be available, I believe, on Amazon. Actually, I think it's available to pre order right now. Um, for November 29th release date. We've also got April Fool's Day. This is coming out from Kino Lorber. Um, it's coming out on January the 21st. It's going to be a native 4K with Dolby Vision HDR, and it's going to have a new audio commentary. So they actually announced that one, uh, I, I think, a few months back that it was going to come out from Kino Lorber. I'm kind of, they did the official announcement that it, they did not do like official cover art, anything like that. So I'm kind of curious why they didn't do that. But April Fool's Day does have an actual um, release date, and it's going to be January the 21st. We've also got some other uh, potential release dates for some other Kino Lober 4Ks. We've got Body Parts, which I think Shout Factory did a Blu-ray of this. Um, we got Orca, which I think also Shout Factory did a Blu-ray of this. So Kino's taking a lot of the Shout Factory catalog and giving those 4Ks. So yeah, we're going to have Body Parts and Orca. And I think Orca already has a steelbook overseas that's a 4k i think that studio can now put that out um but body parts and orca and then lastly we got sea of love which is an al pacino film is supposed to be getting a 4k release on january uh the 21st so yeah let me or i think sea of love was january the 28th and orca and body parts was january the 21st but yeah so definitely cool always nice to have more pacino um, in the collection, even though I have not seen Sea of Love, so I'll definitely be down to watch that. We've also got Kronos getting a 4K release, Guillermo del Toro's Kronos, which I think, I want to say this was his first, like, official film. This one came out in 1993. Now, of course, this has a criterion. I have seen this movie. Um, it's a good movie. I think that this is honestly, like, one of my, um, I'm not, like, the biggest Guillermo fan, if I'm being honest, but this is probably one of his better films to me, one that I was definitely more intrigued by. But this is coming out from BFI on February the 10th, and really awesome artwork on it. I think the artwork is incredible, but the thing that you got to watch out for this is this happens with a lot of the BFI releases. Is that, is that usually, like, when BFI puts out a 4K of something that Criterion already has, because that is a release that's coming out in the U.K., that usually means we're going to get a Criterion 4K. So I can see us getting a Criterion 4K of Kronos maybe around February or March um, of next year. Now, I haven't looked into the uh, specs of Kronos. It might have HDR and Dolby Vision, whereas the Criterion version might not because sometimes they just leave that stuff out. But if you want to get Kronos, if you like that cover art, um, you know, pre-order the BFI. It's available right now. We've also got the Screen Factory announcements for the month of January. I went over these in a video um, last week, but uh, we'll cover them again right here in case you missed that video. But we have Vampires coming to 4K, John Carpenter's Vampires. That is coming out on January the 21st. Now, there are no new features. They're porting over all the same special features, but if you're a fan of Vampires and you want to see it in 4K, which it would probably look awesome in 4K. It is a western horror movie uh then you can uh pre-order that now all the all the screen factory stuff is available on amazon right now i will have all the pre-order links if it's available on amazon i will put all that stuff down below the new pre-orders uh the deals 
and also the uh, stuff that's coming out this week. I'll have all that stuff down below, guys, um, for you guys to easily pre-order this stuff. We've also got the last voyage of the Demeter um, is coming to 4K from the Criterion, or not Criterion, Screen Factory, sorry, guys, on January the 21st. And this is cool because this was a universal title, just got a Blu-ray, and we've kind of learned at this point, like if you're into 4K and Universal puts out a Blu-ray, don't buy the Blu-ray. Just wait till the 4K comes because whether it comes out from Screen Factory or Universal puts it out themselves or they re-release it with a steelbook like they did Megan and Violet Knight, it's going to come to 4K at some point because that's that's the way that Universal rolls. So just, just wait, hold your horses and wait till we get that 4K. And they did that with Last Voyage of the, of the Demeter. They licensed it to... Um, screen factory. It does have multiple cover arts. I showed all that stuff out off in the video that I did last week. So if you want to see that, go check out that video. Um, we've also got the sanctum is coming out on 4k on January the 7th. And this is, this is James Cameron produced and I haven't seen this movie, but I, I feel like I I've heard, I, I remember when it came out, I feel like I heard good things. I just never checked it out. We've also got the Shaw brothers volume five classics. This is the fifth Shaw brothers set. Uh, from Shout Factory, and this is coming out on January the 14th. And I've got the image right here. This shows all the all the movies in this box set. If you just want to kind of scroll through them and check it out. But look, if you're into Kung Fu, like this is a great looking set. Like it's got all kinds of special features. I think it's got like new audio commentaries for every movie. And it's 11 movies, guys, on Blu-ray. Like that is that is a pretty Pretty stunning box set coming out from Shout Factory for sure. Now getting into uh, Celluloid Dreams, we have Short Night of Glass Dolls coming out from Cell Celluloid Dreams, which is a new boutique label. This is another kind of lost Italian giallo film. And this is their second release. They did the uh, Case of the Bloody Iris or the Curse of the Bloody Iris. I can't remember exactly what it was called. I do have it in the collection. Uh, but this is their second release. And this looks like it's got all kinds of, you know, art cards and all that stuff, guys. Really boutique. And yeah, Celluloid Dreams looking to looking to do big things in 2025, I think. So this is coming out. It's available to pre-order right now, uh, but it's coming out. It'll be available. It should, should, should start shipping on April uh, the 29th. So, you know, a long time away, but uh, it's nice to see a new label kind of hit the ground running and take off. It looks like they're going to tackle the you know, Italian horror genre, uh, at least with their first few releases, but looks like a cool, um, you know, I like the cover art for sure. That's really freaking awesome. But yeah, let me know if you've seen that movie and, you know, if it's worth it or not, because this thing's probably going to be pretty pricey when it comes out. Um, you know, for sure. I think the last one was hovering around 40 to 45 bucks when it came out. But uh, yeah, let me know if you're interested in short nights, of glass dolls. We've also got some 88 films releases that were announced. Um, we've got uh, Love Unto Waste, Love and Crime, and these are all these were all announced for January. Um, Love and Crime, Rogue, which I I want to say Rogue has a criterion. Now these are all I, I think except for one, uh, which is Love and Crime, is available in the U.S. But everything else will be available in the U in the U.K. But Rogue. Is actually, I think Rogue is a Criterion title. I think Rogue is a Criterion title. Then you got Haunted House of Horror, and you got the uh, story of the Cloistered Nun, um, all coming out from 88 Films in January. So yeah, 88 Films, you know, they they really did some big things in 2024. It looks like they're going to continue to do big things in 2025. Next up, guys, we got more television on physical media, which is always a good thing. We've got House. The complete series Blu-ray coming out from Universal on December the 3rd. I had a lot of people that I knew back in the day that adored that show and would just talk about that show endlessly. Um, and I think I watched maybe like half of an episode. I just couldn't get into it. So I never watched House, but I know it has a fan base for sure. So I'm sure there's a lot of people out there watching that are excited to get a House box set. And like I said, this comes out on from Universal on December the 3rd, coming out pretty soon. Now let's get into some more uh, Scream Factory news. We've got a Drag Me the Hell 4K Steelbook, and we have a Motel Hell 4K Steelbook. Now, these are going to be Walmart exclusive uh, 4K Steelbooks coming out from Screen Factory on January the 7th. So, I think this is this is Motel Hell's second Steelbook because I have their Blu-ray Steelbook with the 4K scan that they did back in, I think, I want to say 2020 they did that. Um, but Drag Me to Hell just got a 4K and this is, I, I've already seen it online. Like people are upset by this and they, not just Screen Factory, but 
all the labels, all the studios need to get better about this. They really need to get better about this because they are pissing people off and they have got to stop. They've got to stop or people are just going to get out of this hobby altogether. They're going to quit collecting. Maybe it's not that extreme, um, but they're going to get they're going to be reluctant to pick up your releases on day one. That's what's going to happen. And it's going to skew your sales numbers and it's going to um, misinform like what's actually doing well and what's not doing well. Um, so that's that's kind of the stuff that I fear uh, is it's going to condition people to wait for the day one purchases, which a lot of people are already doing anyway because of prices. You know, they're so jacked up and then they go down a couple of weeks later. Like they got to stop doing this stuff where they put out the slipcover version. And then a few months later, they do a steel book or they do another version. It's like, give us our options up front. And maybe it's a deal with Walmart. They're like, we got to be exclusive on our website. Then we'll do one for you all. I don't know, but it just doesn't make sense to me why you wouldn't put these options out, you know, when they come out, you know, I, and I've seen other studios do a steel book and a 4k. And then a few months later, they'll do another steel book. To me, that's okay. You're just putting out another version of the Steelbook to give people more options than they already had. But like Steelbook collectors, like they want to know if this is going to have a Steelbook up front. So give us these, you know, options up front. Sometimes they do. And a lot of times they don't. Like with Killer Clowns, Steelbook slipcover. They did, they put that out up front. But it feels like recently with Screen Factor, they're not doing that a lot. Like they're doing the slipcover version. Then, you know, six months later, uh, three months later, a year later, two years later, in the case of Escape from New York, um, they're giving us a 4K steelbook. And I just, um, you know, if it's two years, fine. You know, you didn't know you were going to do it. But if it's three months like this, like that's that to me is just kind of shitty. It's just kind of shitty. I'm just calling it how it is. But drag me to hell. Like it's an awesome steelbook. And to be honest, like, I didn't get the 4K of Drag Me to Hell. I just didn't feel like I needed it. Like I liked the movie, but I got the Blu-ray edition and it's fine. Um, so I didn't feel like I needed that one. But like looking at the Steelbook, since I didn't get the 4K, like maybe I'll get that Steelbook. Another thing I want to point out though, is a lot of the Walmart exclusives, like a few months after their Walmart exclusive, they end up on Amazon. They also end up on the Screen Factor website. So if these end up selling out, like I think they'll be back. You know, I don't think you have to get these at Walmart. I think you'll be able to get them again at some point. The Motel Hell Steelbook is pretty cool um, as well. But again, I already have the 4K. I bought it back in 2023. And I honestly, I, I haven't even watched the 4K of Motel Hell yet. So I, I definitely won't be getting the Steelbook uh, because, again, I do already have the 4K. But Drag Me to Hell is one that I might get because that's a pretty freaking gnarly, cool Steelbook for sure. But I just think that, uh, you know, they got to stop doing this, guys. They, they're just... They're upsetting people. I see it in my comment section. I see it in other people's comment sections. I see it in posts and forums online. And it's just, I don't like it. I don't like all the unrest in the physical media community over this stuff. It stresses people out. And it makes it makes people not want to do this anymore. It makes people not want to be involved in the hobby anymore. Um, and I don't like that. So quit doing this crap, Screen Factory. Like, it's, it's crap, especially three months later. Like, that's just, that's not enough time at all. Um, all right, let's get into the next one. We got the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Now, these are this is a turbine media release. I don't usually talk about turbine a ton, but since we didn't have like a, a lot of stuff to talk about this week, I decided to bring this up. Uh, but they're putting out like multiple Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I think these are all 4Ks, like some of them might be Blu-rays. Uh, but this is a UHD premiere plus remaster Blu-ray. So I guess it, over in Germany, this will be a UHD premiere. Um, but yeah, they're doing Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 uh, media books. They got five different versions. They all look awesome. Like I definitely like the middle one, like that poster art. I've always really liked the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Um, but again, I've already got, I've got the definitive version of this movie on 4k from Vinegar Syndrome. I don't need this. I won't get it. But like, if you're just a collector, that's got to have all the different versions of Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 on 4k and Blu-ray, uh, you may want to, uh, you know, partake in these editions. We've also got uh, the original Texas Chainsaw Master getting a couple of media books and Leatherface, which I've already got a Leatherface uh, media book because uh, I think somebody sent it to me in a, a subscriber unboxing. But we got a Leatherface UHD, um, and uh, which might be a UHD debut for Leatherface. And then we got Texas Chainsaw Master uh, UHD as well, which the first one right there, guys. That looks pretty damn cool. Like, I may want that in the collection, but again, I don't need it. And then you got the two leather faces, which I don't know what that artwork on the end, the white one is all about. Uh, <laughs> I, I guess it's pretty cool. But yeah, they're doing a lot of leather face stuff. I guess they got the rights for leather face over in Germany because like nobody likes that movie in the States. Maybe they like it over in Germany, but that, that's not a big popular one over here um, where we're at. But yeah, 
if you're interested in the, um, you know, all the Texas Chainsaw Massacre editions, you may want to get that. All right, guys, let's jump into uh, some of the sales that are going on. I'm going to present Blu-ray.com. Of course, we still got the Barnes & Noble sale. That'll be going strong until the end of November. But we got a lot of, a lot of good sales going on Amazon as well, which does include um, Criterions for sure, because Amazon is price matching a lot of those. Uh, right now. But yeah, the Barnes and Noble sale, you can get on their website. You can also go to the Barnes and Noble store. You cannot get them off the Criterion website. That's something I do want to know because Criterion does their own sales uh, twice a year and they're usually only for one day, the flash sales. Um, whereas Barnes and Noble will do the Criterion sales all month long, 50% off in July and November. So that's where we're in now, the Criterion sale. You can only get these at the actual Barnes and Noble website or the Barnes and Noble locations, the bookstore. And of course, Amazon likes to swoop in and price match. So you can get a lot of these for cheaper on Amazon because they're trying to, you know, take some of their business, um, which I always tell people, it's like, get, get it where you want. Like if you want to support Barnes and Noble, because a lot of people will say you can't get it off of Amazon. You got to go to Barnes and Noble. You got to support this. So they continue to do these sales. And I get that for sure. But some people, they just, you know, they can't make it out like that, or they don't want to pay shipping from the Barnes and Noble website. They just find it easier to get it from Amazon. And, you know, that's why I let you guys know about Amazon uh, for sure. Oh, my goodness. What am I doing? Okay. Down here in the corner. All right. So we got Elvira. Uh, that's getting ready to come out, but that's down to $28.99, um, which is not a bad price for a 4K from Aero Video for sure. Let's see. It looks like the Wizard of Oz set also dropped. That was 65 bucks last week. And Demolition Man. Like, that's that's a box set release right there, guys, for $37.43. That's more in line with the old Aero Video uh, box set prices. And let's see. Oh, it looks like the Steelbooks, because I complained about this last week, so I do want to note this. Uh, they were like $70-something, but they have. it looks like they've now dropped in price to $52.46, which is a still pretty steep, but it's a more acceptable price, especially for a TV show. Um, but I do want to know what the Marvel and Star Wars TV shows, they're like a half hour to 35 minute episodes. And there's like usually eight or nine of them. So really it's like just a, a couple of movies or a really long movie is what it ends up being. Um, but the Hawkeye, the Ahsoka and Loki, uh, season two steelbooks are 52 46 currently to pre-order. So that's better than 75 for sure. We've also got uh, seven Samurai is 29 98 right now. Uh, the Halloween set is $69.99, the 1995 through 2002 set. Uh, Shape of Water, I think that's the 4K, is available to pre-order for $24.98. So that comes out in a couple weeks. So the cool thing about the sale time, guys, is they'll put the stuff out that's not out yet, available to pre-order uh, for cheaper. So the Godzilla set is $24.98. Paper Moon is $24.98. Uh, the Godzilla vs. Kong uh, Monsterverse set is $80.93 right now, which I think that was cheaper last week, actually. The totally effed up Doom Generation um, or the Greg Arrakis uh, Teen Apocalypse Trilogy is $49.98 on 4K. So that's a good price for that. So like I said, a lot of these criterions um, are cheap right now on Amazon. Happiness 4K Blu-ray is $24.98. Um, let's see. Funny Girls $24.98. So these are all titles that are coming out this month. I Walked With Zombies, Seventh Victim $29.98. Scarface $24.98. Demon Pond $24.98. Rio Bravo is $23.25. All of Us Strangers, $24.98. So yeah, a lot of the Criterion titles, Repo Man, $24.98. Gummo, $24.98 are um, at a good price right now. Price matched on Amazon. And Chernobyl is still $19.99. Death Becomes Her is $26.99. So it's a little bit down from when it came out. And trying to see if there's any other kinds of deals here. Um, Signs, looks like it went down in price a little bit to $33.57. Uh, White Christmas, $24.34. Uh, I mean, North by Northwest, that's a good price for the 4K for $24.99. That comes out, I think, next week. Oh, my gosh. You got the Dawson's Creek, the complete series, guys. I think that was like 90 bucks when it came out. That is $35.19. So a lot of those Mill Creek uh, series have gone down in price quite a bit. And then we got the Risky Business 4K for $24.98. Uh, King of Queens, I think that comes out this week, is $69.99. Um Interesting how the uh, the pre-order for No Country for Old Men is not dropped in price because that one comes out in December, so they did not drop the price for that. And we got Bad Boys Ride or, Ride or Die on Blu-ray for $19.99. Peeping Tom on 4K for $24.98. Oh, my God, guys, look at this sale. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 4K uh, from Dark Sky, the chainsaw set, is $298.83. You, you save a $1.17 for that. That is awesome. Oh, my God, what a deal. 
Uh, the Thanksgiving Steelbook's down to $34.95. That's definitely a better price on that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, lots of criteria for 50% off on Amazon right now. I'll link as many as I can down below in the description. Uh, but other than that, it doesn't seem like a ton that's on sale. Oh, you got the Friday the 13th 4K. Looks like they got more of those in stock. There was a rumor about that. Um, let me click on this. There was a rumor about that selling out. And I don't know, like how true that was or not, but it's back on Amazon I'm seeing, and it's available, it's available to add to your card. I'm just checking, uh, for 2373, the 4k edition of that from Arrow video. So to me, that doesn't indicate that it's going out of stock. So <laughs> you get, you didn't get that and you want that back or you want that in the collection and you were afraid it went out of stock. It's available on Amazon for 2373, which for that release, that's a steal. Because that's a great 4K and it's got great features on it. Great features on that release. I reviewed it on the channel uh, a couple of months ago. But uh, yeah, just scrolling through everything else, guys. You know, a lot of pre-orders, a lot of criterions, um, a lot of good stuff for sure. So let's let's get into what is new this week. Make myself bigger. A lot of good stuff coming out this week. We do have, like I mentioned a little bit earlier, everything's falling everywhere, guys. Uh, Elvira. Mistress of the Dark is coming out this week on 4K. And uh, I've already lost myself again. Coming out from Arrow Video for $31.96. But I just showed the price because I already wrote this price down. I uh, just showed the price is like $28 now. So, you know, definitely, uh, you know, grab this one if you're interested in Elvira. I'm sure it's going to look great on 4K. We got uh, The Invasion coming out on 4K as well from Arrow Video for $34.99. That price could have dropped also by now, but um, yeah, that's coming out on 4K this week uh, from Aero Video for $34.99. There's also a Blu-ray edition of that coming out for $26.29. We've also got Scarface uh, coming out on 4K from Criterion for $24.98 is the current price, but it will go back up to $35 after the month of November. We've also got Seven Samurai coming out on 4K from the Criterion Collection. For the price of $29.98, it is available to pre-order right now. But again, it'll go back up in price to $42 after the Criterion sale. We've also got Born on the 4th of July. We got more Tom Cruise on 4K coming out this week, guys. This is coming out on 4K from Shout Factory for $39.99. I'm sure that price has gone down a little bit. Uh, it's probably $32.99 by now, but that's the initial price that I... I put this at when it when it first went up for pre-order. We've also got Sugarland Express coming out this week. Steven Spielberg on 4K. Uh, surprised this didn't get like a, a Steelbook edition like Duel did because it's another Spielberg film. So I would have expected another Steelbook from Groove, like a Groove exclusive or something. Uh, but this is coming out from Universal for $23.79. We've also got the SpongeBob SquarePants movie coming out on 4K from Paramount for $24.34. Now, this is a re-release this is kind of an inverse of what we usually get. Usually we get the regular 4K, then the Steelbook a few months later. This time we got the Steelbook, then the regular edition a few months later um, of this release. So yeah, if you didn't get that Steelbook, you have the option to get a regular edition now. We've got Paradise um, and Heavenly Bodies, both coming out this week from Fun City Editions. Um, have it, Heavenly Bodies is $20.99 and Paradise is $22.27, so a little bit more for Paradise than Heavenly Bodies. We've also got the Gladiator 4K Steelbook coming out from Paramount for $29.74. We got Planes, Trains, and Automobiles coming out on 4K from Paramount for $30.99. So that's a little, a little bit more steep than Gladiator. We've got uh, Circus of Horrors coming out from Kino Lorber. Kino Lorber is actually like killing it right now with the 4Ks. They've got so many 4Ks coming out, uh, classic films. Uh, so yeah, Circus of Horror 4K coming out from Kino Lorber. For $26.59. And lastly, we have Arabesque. I'm sure I'm going to get criticized for my pronunciation of that. Uh, but that's coming out on 4K from Kino Lober for $27.99. And let me pull back up Blu-ray.com real quick so I don't miss out on any more stuff that's coming out this week. Bam. Bam. Sorry, guys. I'm doing this all kind of live pre-recorded uh, for you guys. Let's see. Let me make that a little bit bigger. And we'll scroll down to check out some of the other titles that are coming out this week, if there's anything notable. I know the Blair Witch Project and the Suspiria 4Ks were shipping this week from Imprint, so look out for those if you pre-order those. 
Uh, but we have Night of the Blood Beast coming out from, I think that's Film Masters. And we have, Tep how do you pronounce that? Top Kappa <laughs> is coming out. That looks like a Kino Lover release. We also got a Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle release coming out. Afro Samurai is getting a steel book. Uh, Star Trek Prodigy Season 2 is getting a release from I Imagine Paramount. We also got Horrible High Heels coming out from Massacre Video. Uh, Kung Fu Instructors coming out from 88 Films. Kid, Kid from Kang from Kwang Tung is coming out from 88 Films. The King of Queens is coming out from um, Mill Creek on Blu-ray. Uh, Infinite Santa 8000 is coming out, I think, from Synops Films. I showed that off a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Maniac is coming out from Kino Lorber from 1934. We also got 123 is coming out from Kino Lorber. That's a Billy Wilder film. And we have Roseland coming out from Cohen Media Group. We have Trump Triumph of the Spirit coming out uh, from Kino Lorber. We got uh, Merchant Ivory, the documentary. Uh, let's see, coming out from Cohen uh, Cohen Media. Let's see, we got The Boss coming out from, I think, Kino Lorber. Uh, Junk Films coming out from Massacre Video. We got Beaten to Death coming out from Massacre Video. Silent Bites, I think that's coming out from Cleopatra. You got the uh, crass, a classic Christmas Carol coming out as well this week. Who's putting that one out? Kit Parker Films is putting out the uh, classic a uh, Christmas Carol movie. That's the one from 1951. And let's back up. Let's see, guys. I always got to scroll all the way down every time I back up. It's annoying. Very annoying. Um, Blue Christmas coming out this week. I showed that off yesterday on the channel. And Forest Hills, the last film that Shelley Duvall was involved in, is also coming out this week, as well as a Blu-ray edition of Circus of Horror. So there you have it, guys. That is... That's it. That's a wrap. That's the Physical Media Report episode 238. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you feel more informed in the world of physical media. Please, if you can, drop this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment down below of everything that we discussed. What are you excited about? Let me know in the comment section below. Turn on bell notifications for all future videos and follow me on all my social media accounts. Those links are down below in the description, as well as the links to everything that I discussed that has an Amazon link in this video. Um, and I'll also have the Criterion Barnes & Noble sale link down below as well. All the links will be down below in the description. So check out those links if you're interested in any of these titles. And we will see you next time.